Hi there, and welcome to Organization. Organization, as the module title suggests, is a rather unique solvable, which focuses on the order that solvable modules are done on the bomb, rather than actually being a solvable itself. Now, this wasn't always the case. Uh, organization used to have a switch right here, so you'd have to toggle the switch uh, up or down based on uh, various factors, and then you'd press the pencil, and it would give you a new stage to solve. So organization used to be a more intensive uh, module in itself, but now it just kind of dictates uh, what order the bomb needs to be solved in since the switch was removed. We'll be demonstrating three different types of modules uh, on this organization. We'll be demonstrating an ignored modules always, uh, in the case of this forget it not. If this were called, uh, say, third in an organization, what that would do is render the bomb unsolvable because forget it not wouldn't be ready to be solved. So to make it work better with organization, especially uh, with boss module manager uh, installed, uh, this will always be an ignored module, so it won't get called on organization. Uh, there are also settings you can enable in organization which are turned on by default. So ignored modules if enabled, in the case of free parking here, uh, you'll see that we can solve this whenever we like because it's solve dependent. In the case of Yahtzee, this is just because you can roll a Yahtzee on your first roll and they don't want it to strike you immediately because uh, you solved it out of order for organization. And then there's also a move to back module here if enabled in the case of Necronomicon. Uh, these modules usually take a little longer to read, a little longer to solve, a little longer to whatever. And as a result are moved to back because uh, they just need to be or it's helpful if they are. You don't want a cube called as the first module, or a ultimate cipher called as the first module while you still have other things you need to solve in the bomb. So, uh, the first module that organization wants us to solve is Simpleton. So we will do as the notepad says. And when we solve it, you'll see that now when we turn back, everything has progressed, and now we need to solve Masu. If, for whatever reason, uh, we said, no, I want to solve alphabet right now. Uh, the module will solve as normal, but we will get a strike. That was the organization module shouting order order. That was a strike from organization because we didn't follow the order it listed, but everything else still moves on as normal. So just something to watch out for. You can solve modules if you want, but organization will strike you for each module you go over. So now we will start Mossu. Why I've put all these puzzle mods on a bomb showing organization is probably just sadism. Um, something like this. Uh, up through here, connect. This goes here, this goes something like this. Great, and we have three solved modules for organization. Uh, let's say that we want to demonstrate our free parking abilities so before the solve count gets too high. So we go, okay, free parking. We'll remove all the letters from the serial number. If you'd like more info on how to do uh, any of these modules specifically, there are wonderful tutorials on almost all of them, if not all of them, uh, by their respective tutorial creators. But for free parking, we will just check that we don't have any special weird cases. We do not. So our starting value is 48. We have a battleship present. Uh, we have three solved modules. So we will add uh, 150 to this. And then we will subtract 200. Bringing our total to nothing. Uh, and as you can see, even though we did not solve tool mods specifically on organization, uh, we did not incur another strike. Because, if you look, this is ignored all modules if enabled. And by default, by default, you don't have to change anything, these nine modules will be ignored. Out of nine. Uh, and we'll continue solving the rest of the bomb in order. A binary puzzle, because I want to torture myself with yet another puzzle. Um, zero, one, one... Zero. I'm sure there are so many deductions here. 
one, one, this has to be a zero. One, one, zero. Uh, that means... Zero. Please give me a duplicate somewhere. There, that finishes out that row. Zero, zero, one, zero, and then one, zero. There we go. So the binary puzzle solved, we'll add a stage. Uh, and now, <clears throat> since everything else is solved on this side, besides the forget it not, including the free parking, uh, organization says okay. Uh, it's time that you submitted your Necronomicon answer, I hope you have it. So we'll now do the one move to back module we have on this bomb. This is Hoster's alias. So we will uh, take down the numbers for Hoster. Or we can just look at it really since it's yellow plane. If we have eight, we can just submit it. Uh, we don't have eight. We have two, four, eight. We do have eight. And eight for a Hoster applies. If the origin is Plateau, it's not. This is Sarnath, so 8 doesn't apply. So we're looking for any one of these now. So no, no, no. Uh, 12 doesn't apply. 20 doesn't apply. 34 doesn't apply. 38 doesn't apply. So now we're going to look in uh, order of uh, just pages that we have. And the first page we have is two. Uh, it's not as a thoth. And four here is the first one that applies. Again, if you want more information about how to do these modules, uh, they're located in various tutorials and things like that. And as you can see, because we've solved the last uh, module that organization can call, because free parking and forget it not are ignored. It says no modules, it solves a little smiley face. Now we enter our forget it not code here. And the bomb solves. So that's just a little uh, foray into the module that is organization. There is a lot of fun that you can do with this module. A lot of bombs you can plan around this module specifically. Uh, I'm not sure I'd call it a boss module. I guess it is. I guess this is a boss module. Uh, organization will also ignore itself. It'll ignore uh, certain always modules like uh, tax returns it needs to ignore. Access codes should probably be on here, but I assume it'll, it'll call it first. Uh, cookie jars, encryption bingo, a lot of uh, bosses or bosses that uh, recur periodically for stages, it'll need uh, anything that can solve at any time, like turn the key or turn the keys, will be on that ignored list. And if you have the settings for it enabled by default, uh, you can ignore some, not all, uh, some uh, solvable counters, as in blind maze, laundry, waste management. And then uh, move to back modules, which I think are helpful, as in Necronomicon Neutrinos, Octodeca, Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if this helped you, I'm really glad. Uh, if you just wanted to watch this because you're interested in watching and learning more about organization, I'm also glad. But either way, uh, now you hopefully know the module organization just a little bit better.